You decide to rearrange your furniture and the couch needs homemade shim under the leg. Your floor is uneven. The contractor says your sagging floors need to be repaired. Stay tuned to find out the common issues when fixing sagging floors. Hi, I'm Nolan Beery, the Director of Sales Development at AccuLevel. Home repairs can be stressful and many homeowners worry about issues that can arise due to the repair. In this video, I'll explain how sagging floors are fixed, what are the common issues, and can these issues be prevented. If you're a homeowner and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, ring that bell for more content about home foundation repair and waterproofing. Let's get started. Whenever floors are start to sag, there's two issues. One, either the main beam has begun to sag underneath your floor joists, or the floor joists themselves are sagging between the beam supports. These are fixed by supplemental supports, so steel I-beam and steel adjustable jacks. Now, if the main beam is just settling, then adding additional supports such as steel jacks will help improve that situation. There are a few common issues when we try to fix sagging floors. Number one, wood has a memory. So when it sags, it doesn't just sag really quickly. This is something that generally happens over time. And so trying to fix it all at one time, the wood sometimes just simply will not allow it. It'll hold on to that memory and actually start pushing up on the outside. So this is something that may require to be done over time. And here at AccuLevel, that's why we give three free adjustments after the install over a two-year period to make sure that we can slowly adjust that floor. The other big issue is whatever's been fixed above that floor since it started sagging is going to reappear if we're trying to level the floor, such as drywall cracks that's been fixed, doors that have been put in or reshimmed. All those issues that had happened because the floor was sagged are going to show back up once you try to fix the solution. Like I said, we do slow adjustments over time to try to minimize them. Now, the biggest thing that can prevent those from happening is once you see drywall cracks or doors that won't close properly, get an expert out on the front end instead of fixing them multiple times and then getting it fixed. Otherwise, to level those floors, you really cannot avoid drywall cracks or having to rehang doors if it's been touched up over time before you get the fix done. To schedule an appointment with one of our project advisors, give us a call or go to our homepage, AccuLevel.com, and click the Book a Consultation button. Fill out the form and we'll contact you within the next business day. Do you have questions about sagging floors in your home? If so, please leave them in the comments below. Check out the description for more videos and blog articles on crawl space and foundation repair. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.